What's going on guys, it's Cole, and welcome to episode 3 of my Pokemon GS Chronicles Nuzlocke. So last episode, we took on the Azalea City Gym Leader Bugsy, and the Goldenrod City Gym Leader Whitney. First, let's do a team recap. First up, we have Minyades, the Golbat. It has the ability Inner Focus, a careful nature, so boost its special defense and lower its special attack, and the moves Pluck, Sludge Bomb, Air Cutter, and Poison Fang. Next we have Nemeus the Luxio, who has a serious nature, so neutral stat gains, the ability Rivalry, and the moves Spark, Play Rough, Charge, and Baby Doll Eyes. After that, we have Sybil the Curlia. Sybil has a hardy nature, so that's also neutral stat gains. The ability Synchronize, and the moves Growl, Confusion, Draining Kiss, and Teleport. Then we have our starter, Vulcan the Quilava. Vulcan has a timid nature, so more speed and less attack. The ability Blaze, and the moves Ember, Earth Power, Flame Wheel, and Quick Attack. Then we have Lapis, the G the Graveler. Lapis has an impish nature, so more defense, less special attack. The ability Sturdy, and the move Smackdown, Bulldoze, Rock Tomb, and Stealth Rock. And then finally, we have Neptune, the Marsh Tomp. Neptune has a careful nature, so more special defense, less special attack. And the ability Torrent, with the moves Mudshot, Growl, Water Gun, and Mud Slap. So after leaving the Goldenrod Gym, we head to the bike shop to pick up a bike. So now we can move around faster. After that, we head out of the city and back to Route 36, so we can deal with the Sudowoodo blocking our path. Even though we already got our encounter for this route, Sudowoodo is a static encounter, meaning it's fair game. So we catch the Sudowoodo and nickname it Mimic. After that, Nemeus evolved for the final time into a Luxray before we headed back to Goldenrod to see what moves it could remember. Along the way, Tythonus wanted to learn Venishok, so I replaced Poison Sting with it just for the time being, since even though it's a special move, it's a stronger Poison type move than Poison Sting. In Goldenrod, I taught Nemeus Electric Terrain over Charge, then we headed back to National Park picked up the Quick Claw that I forgot to grab earlier, and headed back to Route 36 to get the TM for Shadow Claw, which Luxray can't learn even though I'm pretty sure I saw Chris's Luxray use it. And then headed to Route 37 to get another encounter. So on Route 37, we got our next encounter, which was a Drifloon, which we named Bullium. So after catching it, we headed into Ecritique City, where we got a call from Professor Allen saying he was worried about Chris since she had been ignoring his calls. So after hanging up with him, we found her downstairs in the Ecritique Shrine, talking to El Elder Mokai. And after chatting with him, 
and getting a gift Eevee from him, we headed into the burn tower. So in the burned tower, we met Yusin, a trainer searching for the legendary beasts, namely Suicune, and also his friend Morty, who is the Ecritik city gym leader, and is helping him with his search. So after talking to them, we d battled a trainer in the Burn Tower, and Eevee evolved into Sylveon. And not long after that, we got our encounter for the Burned Tower, which was Chompers the Radicate. So we headed to the basement of the tower and talked to our rival before engaging him in a battle. So after Minyades plucked down his Croconaw and Haunter, Lapis learned Rock Blast, which I replaced Smackdown with, and Vulcan took down his Sneasel with Ember. And Lapis ended the battle by taking his gold bat down with Rock Blast. So after beating our rival, he complained about losing, and then the statues in the basement came to life, revealing that they were in fact the legendary beasts. So Raikou, Entei, ran off immediately, and then Suicune bounced around me for a little bit before running off. And then after that, Yusin then came downstairs and vowed to be the one to catch Suicune before chasing after it. So after leaving the burned tower, we head back to Goldenrod to pick up the TM for defog at the department store and teach it to Minyades to get rid of the fog in the Ecritique gym, and then we head to the Ecritique gym to face Morty. So Morty leads off with his mischievous, and we lead off with Minyades. He then switches into Gengar, which is eventually taken down by a spark from Nemeus. 
as is the mischievous and his haunter. And to end the battle, I hit Driftblum with Play Rough, only for it, it to take itself out by putting a curse on Nemeus, winning us the battle and the fog badge. Our fourth badge in this Nuzlocke. And TM30 for Shadow Ball. gym and headed to the dance hall and took care of the grunt standing outside before heading in and confronting rocket admin Ariana. So she led off with Manectric, before eventually switching to Nato Queen, who was taken down by Vulcan's Earth Power. Followed by Lapis taking out Murkrow with Rock Blast, and Nemeus finishing the battle by taking her Manectric out with Play Rough, winning us the fight. After the battle, Nero evolved into Snorlax, which I was kind of salty about, because I hadn't given it. So the Soothe Bell, and it evolved quicker than Miniatus, who has the Soothe Bell on him. We then got the Crush Ride for beating Ariana, allowing us to use Rock Smash. Leaving Ecrotik City, we headed to Route 38 to get our next encounter. But first, we battled a trainer with Grass type Pokemon. And during the battle, Nemeus learned Thunderfang, which I replaced Spark for. Nope, sorry, I replaced Charge for it, not Spark. And right after that, Vulcan finally evolved into a Typhlosion and immediately learned it's in this game signature move Magma Geyser which has a chance to burn the opponent. Each of the Johto starters has a signature move. Like I said Typhlosion has Magma Geyser. I know Feraligator has Aqua Scales which has a chance to boost the user's attack stat by one I do not know what Meganium's is. After that, we picked up TM for Facade and got our encounter for the route, which was Meowth, which we killed. So we had another failed encounter. Not long after, Mindianus finally evolved into a Crobat, so I gave him the Scope Lens because he learned Cross Poison. So that'll give us 
a lot of nice crits. After that, I made a stupid mistake and had Lapis battle a Pelipper, thinking I could take it out with Rock Blast, and I almost lost Lapis to a Water Pulse. And then right after that, we ran into Raikou, who immediately ran away, so I used its guaranteed runaway to heal up Neptune. And then we headed to Route 39 and got our encounter for that route, which was another Meowth, which we caught and nicknamed Payday. Catching the Meowth, we headed into Olivine City and saw Chris accosting our rival in front of the Olivine City gym. He then leaves, and Chris tells us that the Olivine gym leader will not be taking challengers right now. So our best bet is to head to Cyanwood City and battle the fighting gym leader, Chuck. So this is where I will stop the video. So this is where we'll stop the episode. Thank you for watching and feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And check out my video of my battle with Ali and the Mighty Psyducks. The battle will be taking place tonight around 8.30 p.m. So the video will go up tomorrow, by noon, hopefully. Tomorrow being Friday, June 25th. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, as you saw, I taught Typhlosion Eruption. So now it has Eruption, Flame Charge, Magma Geyser, and Earth Power. So this video is a week late because I was kind of lazy and didn't feel like doing it last week. So hopefully I'll be able to get up the next episode by Wednesday of next week. Alright, so again, thank you for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.